Try not to outpace me. Saxon bastards! Rolo the imprudent? I'll show them. I'll be Rolo the Gelda soon enough. Or Rolo the screamer if you don't keep it down. Was it you who gave Ivar the Boneless his name? I hear talk of his deeds around the campfire, but his name I never understood. He was boneless before I met him. Now he's bones on a pyre, that's all I know for sure. And King Alfred? Can you imagine their king in the sky blanket tear sands our lands? He'd be bluer than my father on nights the mead is strong. He'd fall asleep in the snow with a dog keeping him warm. Ah, this talk makes me long for the old times. The good old times. It's worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor? Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Now, Gerhild, is it? I, Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him? You were not here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy, but of Estrid or Rolo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. That is all, for now. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield. Lork, yes? What is your story? 
You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can hand. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting, and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. You must tire of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. I have what I need for now. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. I might find some evidence to test their stories. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. No need to hunt when the camp is full of fresh kills. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like... Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting, as Lork did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lork said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Lork betrayed you. Lies! And curse you, boy, for letting this outsider sway your heart. A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. He served my father, but he always thought me a callow lackbeard. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive. And I will need your help after they are free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. I told you I was loyal. How dare you doubt me? Forgive me, Gerhard. But even now there are some who will. You should make yourself scarce for a while. Survey the area, Sunan. They will attack us. 
out of sight here. men caged like plump hens.
Oh, my thanks, Eivor. the terms of the kidnap. <gasps> Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted in this, whatever your passions for Estrit. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here, nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester on the night of the Lama's Festival.
Alveda remember a lover from so long ago? Will Alveda remember a lover from so long ago? Would I? See my wares. This could help you in your travels. Seems like you're expecting trouble. This is a very good piece. Yes, this is a good look. Finish looking around. I have to go. See you soon. Big tip. Swelly, yes, other days.
Spider-Man web. What do you see, Suman? Come on, you dry, dusty webs! Who'll drink with me? The last house in Malden. All of it should be here. Second bed. Olvida doesn't live alone. <laughs> Someone was interrupted preparing their supper. Taken or fled. Sister, is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. What is your name? I'm Ellerich, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? I'm looking for your sister, at the behest of another. Behest? We've got no money to speak of. And my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Alvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will.
Asked about this land, my friend. <sighs> this area is off limits.
Let's end the war! This key should unlock Alvida's cage. This must be Birsten's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. What? What is this? You're not one of them. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of Eller. Gentle 
Hello. Please. You'll soon be safe. Rest easy. Bless the saints! My Here you are, sister. Ache. Safe and well. Rest now. Soon you'll be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teeth. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here. At the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife Estrid returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He will come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he will ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. And this young lad is Elevich. Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elovrich, I would suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Beerstam, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. 